This is a recipe for corn souffle, and this recipe is vegetarian. This recipe is narrated by Natalie Foose for the Anthropology 212 Food and Culture class at the University of South Carolina, Columbia. This recipe has been in my family for as long as I can remember. It comes from my grandma on my dad's side. It is meant to be a side dish, and my family often makes it alongside ham at Easter and Christmas dinners. It is a great side dish to make because the preparation of it is really simple, and then you can just pop it in the oven for an hour and forget about it while you make the other dishes for your meal. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. One can of creamed corn, one can of whole kernel corn, one third cup butter, melted, one egg, one package of Jiffy corn muffin mix, and one third cup sour cream. This is what else you'll need. A large mixing bowl, a large round casserole dish, which is shown in the picture, a one third cup measuring utensil to measure your sour cream, and a spatula to stir and pour the mixture. I recommend preheating the oven before you start mixing and preparing all the ingredients. Set your oven to 350 degrees for this recipe. Now it's time to prepare the ingredients. First, you're gonna drain the can of whole corn. So you see that you don't want all the excess liquid that's in the can. And then you're gonna melt the butter. Next, you're gonna combine and mix ingredients in a large bowl. Then you're gonna pour the prepared mixture into an ungreased large round casserole dish. And that's it, you're ready to bake. Bake at 350 degrees for one hour or until an inserted toothpick comes out clean. After your toothpick comes out clean, your corn souffle is ready to enjoy. Just a few notes about this recipe. If you do not have a round casserole dish, a square one will do, but you just need to reduce the baking time slightly depending on the dish. If you have a lot of other dishes to prepare for a meal the next day, you can mix all the ingredients the night before, refrigerate it, and bake it the next day. And all photos in this presentation were taken by me.